My name is Pedro Chu. I'm a senior consulting engineer at MSC. And uh, today I would like to talk about uh, global adaptive fiber mesh eMARC and uh, some of the features that may not be familiar to many people. The result quality of a finite element uh, model depends, among other things, of the quality of the mesh you are using. When you have a linear analysis, small uh, deformations, you probably are going to get uh, you know, good results, you know, life is good, everybody's happy. When you start going uh, non-linear and the element starts deforming excessively, all bets are off. Luckily for you, Mark has a capability called a global adaptive rubber meshing. This capability tells the solver to create a mesh whenever certain conditions are met. If elements start distorting too much, if uh, strains change excessively from one increment to another, if you have a penetration, these are all indications to the solver that a new mesh is needed. And Mark will do that. Mark will take a contact body, create a new mesh, so that you can proceed with the analysis. The basic uh, control in a global adaptive of the meshing is the element size that you define uh, on the contact body. You can, for example, define a region, and uh, within this region, you can define a different element size compared to the rest of the, uh, the contact body. Another uh, control that the user can have is, is based on the results. For example, if you have very high stresses within a certain element, for example, a certain area, you can have a, a finer mesh around that area. Global adaptive fiber meshing is a very powerful tool to allow you to solve complex nonlinear analysis because the solver creates a new mesh whenever necessary, allowing the model to run to completion. <laughs>